Engaged Lessons for the 21st Century. Videos saved on YouTube. Number one, videos are now being stored on YouTube. Two, how to run the video from YouTube. You will have to pause the video by hand after opening. B, on the computer, control key and P will pause the video and or run. Smartboard use. Bring a video on Smartboard. A, pause video at beginning. B. Open up Smart Notebook. Must be 11.4 or newer. C. Click on View, then Transparent Background. D. You may now write on the video after pausing. Promethean Board. Bring up video on your Promethean Board. A. Pause video at beginning. B. Open up Active Inspire software. C. You will now be able to write on the video after pausing. Why, hi students, Mr. Peabody here, and I'm here to help you with determining equal shares. You'll notice that directly behind me, we have two squares. One is A, and the other one is B. When you're told to, we would like for you to pick up a pen and draw a line on the dotted lines and separate A into three equal shares and then do the same thing on B. However, we'd like for you to do B a different way. Now, while the teacher has the student doing this, if you would pause the video until the student has completed the problem and then resume the video and we will check your answer. Thank you. Okay, students, let's see if you have what we have. I'm going to place my marker right here, and you'll notice that we've divided the first one up into one, two, three equal shares. And for B, we've done the same thing, but this time we went one, two, three, vertical. If your answers matched ours, that is outstanding. Now, if you would, please have another student come up to the video and while they're coming up here if you would please pick up an eraser and erase your answers and then we'll go on to the very next problem. Thank you. Okay here we are on problem two. Now you'll notice in problem two we again have A and B and you notice these rectangles are a little bit larger. What we'd like for you to do for A is to draw lines to show one way to divide the rectangle into four equal shares. And then B, we'd like for you to do the same thing but only do it a different way. So if you would, please pause the video while the student works on A and B. Thank you. Okay, let's see what you have for A. What we did is we drew a line down here and one like this. So we have one, two, three, four equal parts. And in B, we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. We have four equal shares in this one also. Hopefully you have some idea like ours. If you do, that is great. Now, if you would, please have another student come up to the video. And while they're coming up here, if you would please erase your answers. And we will go on to problem number three. Thank you. Here we are looking at problem three. Again, we have two parts, A and B. And you'll notice what we have to do here is to draw lines to show two different ways to divide the rectangle into two equal parts. So you'll draw one here for A and another one for B on the dotted lines. So if you would, 
Please pause the video while the student works on problem B. Then start the video up again and we will provide you with the answer. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we can find the answer to problem 3. Now you'll notice that we have a 2, and what I'm going to do, this is an easy one, is I'm going to draw a line straight across so we have equal shares up here and here, and we did it this way on B. So we have equal shares on this side as well as this side. Well, hopefully yours is something similar to what we have. So if you would, please have another student come up to the video for the very last problem. And if you would, please erase your answers. Thank you. Okay, we are on the very last problem, problem four. And you'll notice that we have one, two, three rectangles, A, B, and C. What we'd like for you to do is divide these up into three different or equal shares for each one. So it's going to take a little thought process. So if you would, please pick up a pen and do this. And while you're doing it, pause the video to give you time to answer this problem and then continue with the video when you're done. Please start now. Okay, let's see if you have the same answers we have or something similar. You'll notice that in A we have 1, 2, and 3, and in B we have 1, 2, and 3, and in C we have 1, 2, and 3. That was outstanding. Hopefully yours looks something like ours. Okay, I hope you had a lot of fun, and thank you for working with us today.